be. Anyway, yeah, I, I work with different labels, a lot of different labels, and I release under different names. And basically, that's it, pretty much, you know. Um, well, for me, it doesn't really matter. I mean, obviously, sometimes it could work, it could work against you, but um, I just try to do what I feel, pretty much. Uh, I just try to be free in what I do and try different things because I love a lot of different aspects um, so you know I'm happy to do tropical crazy afro stuff to more deep or UK bass influence music or you know working with live musicians um, and producing like different projects or singers yeah so so um, it doesn't, you know, obviously everything is, is in boxes these days, but that's how the market and the system kind of works pretty much. And yeah, sometimes people are like, oh, so what does he play? Yeah, is it soul or in house? Or, you know, I play a lot of different kind of music. Um, I try to stick to the word, word, like good music, basically. I know it's kind of a cliche, but um, yeah, that's what I try to do really. So if it's timeless, even better. But it's not always the case, and um, but yeah, anyway, kind of try to be free on that side. Mm, yeah, so Martin Ajaz, I've known Ajaz for years. I used to go there years ago to his studio, his first studio in Derby, which was in a great building, big building, little river. Um, and he used to have where well, he used to have the Mantis recordings offices. And yeah, it was kind of a wicked studio with like analog sense everywhere and 5.1 system, you know, we were like, wow. Um, so I've known Martin since a few years, actually brought some friends that uh, brought charisma to, to his studio, we had so much fun there. And I met like Zed Lias in Martin's studio. So yeah, kind of, um, and obviously Edge has always been an influence in my music somehow. You know, um, so yeah, it kind of uh, felt natural that you know eventually I put out some music on his label. You know, finally, after all these years, and um, yeah, he's a good friend. You know, let's do it. Uh, yeah, so the 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 the, the, the track with Paul Randolph. Um, you know, it's funny. It's actually in a very old tune that um, we were on Skype not long ago and we were just chatting. And he's like, hey, remember that tune we did, like, light in there? I was like, huh? Oh, wow, that tune, oh my god, uh, I don't know where it is. So um, I just went into my hard drive, and I think it's a 2005, 2006 kind of tune. And uh, opened the, and the files just worked locally. I opened it again and mixed it, and that's it. That was the Show Your Light, which is... Um, I think it's still current actually, the message is still current in some ways. So yeah, we're both happy that it came out. Finally, you know. So I don't really have any secrets. But I, the work the, the way I work pretty much is I try to use a lot of organic sounds or analog sounds mixed with the digital um, sounds and the, 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 the software. I use logic pretty much sometimes it will in live to play with samples uh, but otherwise I, tr I just use my analog synths you know Juno here Monopoly for here are the, you know percussions instrument in my live room drums put it in the mic record it put some effects just jam it really um, and also it depends sometimes you can really try different things try different techniques um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, at the end of the day, I believe in bending the rules, you know. Sometimes it's not... Sometimes people say, yeah, you have to record uh, you know, the guitar with putting the mic here and because it's like... It's all good, but I like to actually sometimes totally not respect that. And uh, that's also how you find kind of new ways and you can get some interesting sounds. Um, but yeah, I mean, otherwise, you know, just... just enjoy enjoy it have fun producing that's also i think my model um try different things you know don't stick to i don't i don't like to stick to some kind of 
so all the same path and uh, I try also not to work too loud sometimes because it keeps it's easily you can get used to the volume the loud volume although some it's fun to like you know but sometimes if you work for long hours you turn the volume down and actually you can hear it still because your internal ear will get used to whatever volume you give it so um, I'd say that it, 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 this, it makes your ears less tired and also if you play your mix on different systems, small systems, crappy systems, car systems then you also know how the sound evolves around the space where you work kind of thing so yeah pretty much you know that's my uh, little secrets they're not really secrets you, you knew that already anyway oh yeah maybe that which is totally basic but kind of um, makes sense as well basically um, I try to have a good sound to start with whenever I make a tune because uh, that way you will have you won't struggle to mix because you already started with something good so yeah you know pretty simple Yes, sure, more uh, music, more tracks on Aja's label, definitely. Uh, I'm thinking about this track I've done years ago with uh, Mike Don, and it's a conscious tune, it's great, and we never released it, so maybe that could be one of them. Otherwise, different. Um, we did actually a version with Martin on the bass. Um, yeah, and also, yeah, there's loads of other tunes I need to. Finish. So yeah, definitely, definitely, uh, the adventure carries on, and um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I want to say uh, well, big thank you to everyone supporting the music, obviously, and thanks to uh, Jazz Records and Martin, of course, and thank you for uh, listening to my mumbles. And um, till next time, stay healthy. It's 2012. Great year, different. Yeah. Do I believe in aliens? Totally, of course. Basics is the biggest, you know, human secret. Anyway, that's a. Oh, sorry, that's not the same. Okay, fine. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you next time. Massive love, massive respect. Peace. Yo, ciao. Um, yeah, so last thing if you wanna, um, I'm not on Facebook actually, I'm not on Twitter, so I'm pretty off the grid on that one for uh, various reasons, but uh, you can always check my blog, I've got a little blog where I write up stuff, you know, travels and different, it's happening a little bit, djsinbad.blogspot.com, um, otherwise you can always call me, my number is Oz, right, anyway, um, peace and love. And also <laughs> soundcloud.com slash Sinbad. Free music, free big stapes and stuff, oh my god. Yeah, anyway, you know the drill, it's too